Hey everybody, it's Rich at RM Auto Diag, and today we're going to have a look at a Mark 7 Golf uh, with a diesel engine and it's got the engine management light on. Right, okay, so uh, I've got Vagcan Pro up and running. So we're going to have a look at what fault codes are coming up. Uh, apparently, uh, if it's cleared, it does come back. It's something to do with a heater pump. So let this do its thing. And we've got here, we've got a selection. We are the Mark 7. There we go. We're up and running, so we've got all the usual stuff. Uh, so we're going to have a look at trouble codes. And there we go, yeah. As we were told, we've got heater support pump, supply voltage, uh, short ground lamp is off at the moment, it's intermittent. Apparently the lamp is coming on. So, let's have a look at what output tests I can do. Can we start the pump up? Yep. So we've got heater support pump, we've got a switchable water pump, which will be the one on the cam belt. And coolant pump for the charge pressure cooler. Uh, I guess it's got a couple of auxiliary pumps on this. We'll have a look underneath and we'll see if we can run some of these tests and see what they do. Right, okay, so I think I know where we're to. So we do this charge pressure cooling pump. There is two. We'll start the test. Four or two. Yeah. We're under here. We've got this pump at the front. Don't know if you can hear that. Humming on and off. So that's the charge pressure cooler one. As I said, there's one on the cam belt, which locks the pump up. I can hear that one clicking uh, when I do that test. As you can see, I've got some leads down the back for the other pump. So what I'll do is I'll start that test off and then I'll come back underneath. Right, okay, so start the bottom one for the heater support pump. Start that there. It says it's started. Let's try and get you focused up underneath. What I've done is I have pulled this down. It just sits at the back. It's only held on by one bolt. I've pulled it down out of the way so we've got a bit of access. And I have back probed into the wiring up the top here. And if you can quite see it, focus. So we've got the brown, that browny coloured wire is an earth, the green is a signal wire and the red is a live. So I come back out to the scope. I don't know if we can see this with a glare. We should see it coming on and off on the on the signal wire. There we go. There's the change. We have no noise or anything like that. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to put a bulb in line to make sure we've got a good line on earth and then we're going to call a pump on this. Alright so like I said we want to check this on a bulb and as you can see we've got a nice bright headlight bulb on it and we're probed into the red and the browny coloured one here and that's all good. So we've got a signal down here, we've got a good power on the ground. So we're going to need to call a water pump on this and we'll get a new one on and that should be it fixed. Cheers for watching guys.